Why Women Love Bad Boys and Dump Nice Guys. I'm just using the title, but Mr. Charles uh, Arando had a dope picture. Check out his content. Um, I'm kind of bumming the picture because it fits the title. Now let's get into it. All right. Because women hate biology and hate human nature that doesn't benefit them, they destroy their lives and take no accountability. So every woman, nearly, not all, but the majority, will tell you that they are attracted to the bad boy. In their 20s, they are attracted and will do anything to try to hold down a bad boy. A criminal minded, um, uh, you know, disruptive to authority, uh, disrespectful. They are, they are attracted to everything that's wrong for them. Not only are they attracted to everything that's wrong for them, they actually go out of their way to have children with men that they know are bad boys in their teens and 20s. Then somehow when this bad boy that that evades responsibilities and accountability does the same thing with the child that they try to put on the woman. Now she becomes angry. That's an issue because these bad boys have nothing to offer but credibility, street credibility, intimidation, all of the things that women like, which offer no security in the long run. Those are the things that only offer security in places that are insecure to be uh, to, to start out with. Now, what happens? How does biology go against them? Well, by the time they're 30, they don't look like they did when they're 20. But by that time, they're over the bad boys. Now they want a good guy, the type of good guy that they ignored the majority of their life. Now they want that good guy to step up and be a man and take care of the children that he did not create and to be the punching bag and to make them believe in love again after they've dissed and humiliated these good guys, the majority of their their 20s and teens. But the joke is on them. Why do I say that? Because men don't start peaking financially until their 30s. So by the time men are peaking, these women are plateaued. Most, I mean, I'm telling you, science, it's not my opinion. At the same time that women peak financially and physically is a time that a good man is just starting to actually uh, become financially sophisticated. She's wasted her 20s with the bad boy. She didn't support a good man who was on the way to be a great man. No, she supported the bad boy. She paid for him, put money on his books when he was in jail. She did all these things for this man and he got out and got with a woman that maintained her looks because while he was in there and she was holding him down, she didn't maintain her health because she said in her mind, well, because I stayed here for this bad boy when he was in his time of need, I know he'll just come out and be the best man for me. No, he's a bad boy. Remember, that's what he was when he went in there. Why would he be different now? Like, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Now, a good man does not does a good man that knows better once he figures out that you've been attracted and gave your mind body and soul to a bad boy he loses attraction why because you think that you can make a good man that didn't go to jail that spent all of his time trying to become the best man that he can you think you can make him work harder for a relationship or anything with you than that bad guy. That is disrespectful. You mean you're going to make the good guy work harder than the guy that ain't ish? Right. That's the main reason why good guys are looking the other way. Uh, I mean, you guys say that good guys finish last. Okay, that is true. So, you and your bad boy are done. You're done. While we're in our 30s and 40s, we've just started... We just started, we just cracked the, the, we just hit the 100K mark. We just learned how to trade stocks. We just learned about bonds. We just learned how to flip our retirement at the age that you don't, you know, you, you want a guy but don't need a guy, but somehow want a guy that you don't need to 
be a stepdad or be a, a helpmate or be a partner. We don't want to partner with you. We didn't partner with you when we got our job. We didn't partner with you when we worked overtime. We didn't partner with you when we started our business. So why do you think we want to partner with you now that we've made it above middle class and you're struggling with government subsidies? No way. Hey, you wanted that bad boy. Stay with him. I'm telling you this. That's what you qualify for. If you dated bad boys that had nothing to offer but street cred, then that's all. Then st stick with that. Don't leave us good guys in us squares. Let us be. We don't. We we don't need anything. We don't need to be stepdads. We don't want to be stepdads. We can't offer each other anything. We're not saying that you're bad people, but we're saying we are too square for you because that's what you told us before. So you know, I'm just I'm keeping that same energy. I'm agreeing with you. I, we, we're just too square. We, you know, we need square chicks or we need to do something else because we just are not strong to handle women that, you know, that for some reason like to deal with D-boys and, and things like that. We are agreeing with you. So, I mean, this is the life you wanted. Now that you're 30 and 40, why be mad? This is what you wanted. We're just smart enough us good guys, us 100K guys, we're smart enough to not try to play your game or be shamed into into what you think we should or could be doing.